yeah, your track that came out earlier this year, Transistor Lover, and also the the remix, the notorious remix, I like to say, of Exile Militant is, you know, I think it like made a lot of headlines, let's say, within the community, within modern funk, and especially seeing you collaborate with Exile Militant, knowing that he has quite a large fan base in Japan as well. Yeah, that was, um, that was, I think that, that remix was just amazing. He crushed it. Though, at first, I was really surprised with the vibe he took it in. Because, you know, it's XL Middleton. Like, I think a lot of people know him these days for his more sort of like West Coast G-Funk type jam. Mm. Sort of like Zap and Roger type stuff. Mm. So, when he sent the first version over, I was like, what is this? Not in a bad way, but I was so <laughs> surprised, you know? But it came together really nicely. QI, how did you feel when you first heard his version of Transistor Lover? Uh, so I thought it's, it's so really nice, don't <laughs> yeah. uh, like, uh, It's a really danceable, and, but I feel chilling. Like, danceable and chilling. What is that? It's, it's like, how to say English? It's a very nice the country. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, my milk dog friend, like milk dog friends, almost friends, they uh, like his version, Transistor Lover. I like too. Yeah. The, the way that that remix came together was um i think maybe a year and a half ago or maybe six months before the transistor lover stuff was even happening mm. i saw online that i don't know who it was first it was either xl or zaki force funk posted something about our first seven inch abiru ah, yes. and they were like i don't know how it got in front of their ears maybe it was like you know spotify discover or maybe because it was a vinyl record I, I actually have no idea how it reached them, but I saw that pop up online and went, whoa, XL Middleton and Zachy Force Funk, like our track that that's like, yeah, it, it's, it's funny you say that. Cause I remember that day as well. <laughs> Cause obviously I followed them on Instagram and I saw Zachary mm -hmm. Force Funk post that. And it was like something I've never seen before. And I saw the artwork for RB Roo and I was like, what is this? And I was just like, oh, this is good. And then, I'll never forget it. it's, it's become that moment that and I think a lot of us heads like record heads and modern funk enthusiasts were just like trying to track this down and to understand what this is mm -hmm. and especially like the seven inch 45 and right and at that time I think it was like very difficult to find to get hold of as well yeah yeah I think I think there are still some copies floating around but you gotta you gotta kind of hunt them down mm-hmm um, we have some for sale at our shows, so if uh, if any of y'all can make it to Japan, <laughs> I got the good stuff. <laughs> but, um, but so yeah, so we we knew that uh, XL was down with our stuff. So when it came time to think about like, all right, we did Transistor Lover, somebody should remix this. Um, XL was the first option that I even thought of, and I just cold emailed him i think we were like mutual followers mm. on twitter and, and stuff like that but i'd never actually spoken with him so i just emailed him and said hey you want to remix this and he went yeah i want to remix this and uh it started to come together one thing that i don't think anybody knows though is that they actually sent me him and his team sent me the stems and uh, I did the mix down for that remix. Whoa. So I actually like muted a couple of like, you know, I muted the drums here and maybe the, the keys there, uh -huh. which I was really scared about. I was like, is Excel going to come and like <laughs> kill me for, for muting his keyboard? This, um, isn't, my, but, this, isn't, this isn't my remix. <laughs> yeah. What, what is this garbage? <laughs> <laughs> But uh, but no, he uh, he was really kind and uh, dug the the creative choices I made. The one other thing is that after he sent the first version, um, he said, "What do you think of it?" And I said, "It's good, but could you maybe try adding like some G funk whistles?" 
Ah. And, you know, asking XL Middleton to add G-Funk whistles, that's like, hey, hey, Roger Troutman, can you can you play the talk box on this song? <laughs> you know, it's like, uh, mm. so I, I kind of felt like, I don't want to say I felt embarrassed to ask, but I was like, is this even okay to ask? Like, because he's the, the G-Funk master. Maybe he didn't want to do the whistle on this song, but mm. no, he added that stuff in, which you can hear in the pre-chorus. That do 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 Yeah. And, uh, oh, it's so nice. Yeah. It's like such a good remix. I have an interesting story for this. So, like, Transistor Love remind of uh, HMV in Shibuya. Yeah, the HMV, HMV record HMV. shop in yes. Shibuya. Yeah. Yes. So, but when I saw it in the code store in Yokohama, nearby the Shibuya, so it was not in Japanese music section. It was really in the foreign music section. I can't find it. Where is my records? I asked to the store shops stuff so she's uh, really looking for our music oh it's in there the falling music r and b jazz session <laughs> <laughs> it's a no surprise way. because i am a japanese singer so mm -hmm. i'm i'm really glad that yeah yeah because yeah, I, i almost feel like yeah that's true that people in japan they're aside from us we we there's a couple of artists that are kind of doing modern funk type stuff, but mm. but no one who's really doing it straight ahead. I mean, we're not even doing it straight ahead. So I feel like the the record buyers and the DJs and the collectors who are after that like modern funk sound are probably going to hunt more for it from you know labels like Mo Funk and mm. Star Creature and. Uh, even People's Potential Unlimited, which is like my favorite record label ever. Mm. Um, so it's kind of cool that they, they put us in with them instead of like, I don't know, like AKB48 or, <laughs> <laughs> or something. <laughs> yeah, so one of my favorite tracks of yours, without a doubt, is Transistor Lover, which I'm proud to present for the listeners here. We're going to get an exclusive acapella by qi herself <laughs> and um gonna bless it here right now on studio funk this is an exclusive acapella by qi one two three that you don't know myself operated some people may say you have so it everyone's so humble and degraded as for me, I like to be discreet To the shine Electricity Deep inside of me is building up Transistor So I let you buy You're the best and I'm your collector And nothing illogical Judge me up and tell me you Keep me while you are my Transistor lover Transistor lover Judge me up and tell me you Transistor lover Transistor lover Yes! Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you for listening. Oh, right. That was... That was... <laughs> oh, man. I, I feel like crying right about now, man. That was, that was, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful.